Hello people, and this is uh, video number two where we're going to be converting information between Maya and Blender so that we get a better idea of how the two work if you're converting from one software to the other. And today we're going to be talking about the uh, manipulation of objects, so movement of objects. First, simply selecting an object, you can move it back and forth. We also have these little handles here that use two axes at the same time. And of course, if we use the center, we can uh, drag based on camera view. Our navigation tools are located on the side here. We have our move, rotate, and scale, as well as our select. And switching between them, Q is our select tool, pure selection. We have W for our uh, movement and then E for rotation, and then R for scale. And the reason that we're laid out, laid out this way is they're really convenient to have under your fingers up in the upper left-hand corner of your QWERTY keyboard, if you have a QWERTY keyboard. Uh, if you happen to be using a French keyboard, like an Azardy keyboard or whatever, it's probably less convenient, but for a North American uh, QWERTY keyboards, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, if we look up here, we have also the possibility of changing the information. If I press 1 in all three of these here, it moves it in one unit in all of those directions. So we have that. We can also use middle mouse button and drag to uh, move these based on these axes. And if you have... Um, uh, in the center here, so in a move mode here, if I... Uh, use my middle mouse button, whatever the active axis is, is the one that will be utilized. Uh, if we have the center active and I hold down shift, well shift, I can also use middle mouse button and then drag in the direction that I want it to move in. So you can drag in the three axes using shift to very quickly manipulate things if they're not um, held. Uh, this can be useful when something is off screen and you can't quite see it and then you want to like bring it into screen. You can use shift and middle mouse button to bring it down and uh, that will, will do that. Of course resetting their position in space we can just zero out the, the position information and uh, we get that. Uh, quick duplication methods of course control D to duplicate things but we also have the possibility as of uh, the more recent versions of Maya, if we hold down shift and drag in an axis, then we will quickly duplicate an object that way. Multiple objects can be manipulated by grabbing this and they will all be set to that value. There is a possibility of doing some basic math in these. So if I grab both these and I want to move them both over by one, I could say uh, equals. So if I go into the equals here, um, Rather, uh, I want to add the number. So if I say uh, plus equals and then say one, then in the x-axis, both of them will move collectively in a value of one. So if I wanted to uh, double whatever the value is, so let's say we'll uh, translate them up in the y-axis. Let's go y-axis by two. If I wanted to double that, then I would say um, multiplication, which is the asterisk, equals, and we go multiply by two, and now you can see the value is four. So you can do some uh, basic math in here as well. So navigation has a number of different uh, methods that you can play with in order to get things moving through the space, quickly duplicate them, and uh, yeah. Okay, so let's see how this works in Blender. Let me grab this object, and you can see we have a similar navigation mode where we grab on a specific axis and it moves in that direction. We have a transform, rotate, and scale, as well as selection here. However, the keys are slightly different. Uh, a nice, convenient, easy way, if you're my user trying to get into this, is uh, actually uh, using shift space. So if you use just space, you'll see that we have um, our select box, which you can press B to do. But uh, if you look over here, the hotkey for these is not quite the same kind of expectation when you use them. So move is G, definitely is, and then R for rotate, and then S for scale. 
Well, um, if we press these, we're going to get a slightly different result. But if we use this shift space and then we click on them, we'll get the cursor as we expected. And watch what happens when I go ahead and press G. If I press G, the cursor goes away. And I'm working basically in, in screen space. I'm navigating it in screen space. Uh, if I were to press X, then it will lock it on that specific axis. If I were to hit Y, it will go in that direction and then Z up and down. Um, if I right click, it will cancel the operation. Give me a G and my middle mouse button. So G and my middle mouse button, uh, this is again similar to Maya, right? Because I could use the middle mouse button to choose which direction I was trying to go things in, in Maya. Uh, this allows me to swap between different axes. So while I'm holding my mouse button, I have the option of different directions. And if I let go on any one of those specific directions, it will be locked in that direction. Uh, if I pr uh, press and hold G again, it will immediately jump back into that selection mode. So if I had chosen the wrong one, I don't have to commit to that change. I can simply change the direction and then let go, and then I will be locked once again in that direction. And then just simply left click to accept that movement. So uh, there's similarities and differences between the two of them. Of course, we can input numerical data into these. I can reset this back to zero by pressing zero here. I can go ahead and uh, I can type in a numerical value just like before. And if I wanted to do math, I could do that too. But the difference here is that um, the way the formula is calculated is different. So if I were to take the, the value and let's just say like copy the value and then paste the value and then uh, multiply by two, uh, then I'll get the four meters that I want. So the key element here is to copy the value. So if I had something like you know 1.23 or something like that uh, as a number, I want to go ahead and uh, um, add to that. I can go click to the side of it actually, and then just say multiply by uh, four, and then it'll, of course it will do that math in there. So we can do that the math operation directly in that uh, viewport. So. Um, and you see that the navigation mode is, is fairly similar in a lot of different ways. Okay, so uh, I'm duplicating an object here. I'm just gonna press Shift D uh, for duplicate. And uh, I can, uh, when I'm doing that, if I press Shift D and I set something like X, uh, it will move only in the X direction. Of course, I can use my middle mouse button functionality here as well. It immediately puts you into this transform mode so that you can place objects. And then of course, just left click to commit that. So we have all these objects here now, and we wanna move them all by say a multiple of two. Well, I can grab them all here and grab them. And I wanna do this uh, times two. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna say multiply by two and hit enter and only one of them moves. Well, if we right click in here, there's actually additional functionality. So we have the option of copying all of the transform values. So this would be like a match transforms. We'll look at that in Maya in a second, or we can copy single to selected. And I want just this one axis copied. So I'm just gonna do that one. And you see it takes them all. And we got an extra here. So we have uh, the possibility of matching transforms. Let's go ahead and add a different object here. I'll just add a sphere and I want it to match the position of this one. Let's grab this one and then this one and you'll see those numbers now appear. And if we right click and say copy all to selected, you'll see that's matching it. In Maya, this would be a match transforms option. So again, we'll create a nice sphere and we'll grab this object and then this object and we'll go to modify and um, we have our match transforms and we can match translation. And you see that, that they've been matched here. So hopefully that gives you a nice overview of the uh, duplication, uh, basic duplication and transform abilities between the two softwares. Uh, there is obviously more that can be done in this particular category, but we'll save that for a separate video.